Hi, my name is Henry and I'm one of the certified veterinary technicians at Pearl Animal Hospital. I'm here with uh, my dog Bodie and today we're going to demonstrate for you guys on how to clean your pet's ears at home and apply uh, otic medications, medications designed for the ear. Ear infections are one of the most common things that we see here in um, our clinic and um, they present in a variety of different ways and are caused due to a variety of different reasons. But a lot of the times the prescribed treatment is going to be cleaning the ears with a medicated ear cleaner and applying an ear medication. There's also um, times that we do recommend cleaning the ears regularly for maintenance. And that can be after swimming, hiking, bathing, grooming, any changes in your dog's environment um, or exposure to water, you're gonna wanna go ahead and clean your dog's ears just to prevent the likelihood of your dog being able to develop a um, ear infection. So now, dogs really don't technically like their ears messed with. So this can be a bit of a challenge sometimes. So we'll go ahead and um, I'll clean Bogey's ears here and uh, demonstrate how that's done. And this is gonna be a one person approach. Most of you at home will need a second person to give you a hand, but by me demonstrating how to hold the dog um, for the ear cleaning, this will make your lives a lot easier. So what I've got here ready to go is um, the veterinary uh, approved ear cleaner. I've got some rolled cotton. Now rolled cotton comes in a big giant roll and it's just um, a big chunk of cotton and then you can tear off pieces of um, cotton that you know, are the sizes appropriate for what you need them for. You can also use the really, really big jumbo sized cotton balls that are available at any pharmacy and just kind of um, pull them apart and unfluff them just to make a bigger piece. I've also got um, some cotton swabs here. And now this does come with the caveat that when you're using the cotton swabs, in most cases, we will not recommend that you do this. Now with that said, there are a lot of little tiny folds and uh, creases in the outer edge of the ear, in the, the outer ear pinna. So that's like right in this area. Now it is acceptable to go ahead and use those cotton swabs to get into those little, little areas. However, just as long as you're not inserting the cotton swab into the ear canal. The rule of thumb is you don't want to put the cotton swab in any further than you can see the tip of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take um, our ear cleaner and I'm going to saturate a piece of cotton. Now usually when dogs react, they're going to react the most to the initial liquid leaking down that ear canal because that can be what can be a little bit startling to them. So I'm going to have Bogey um, come and sit just like so. I'm going to have him backed into me. Now if you're doing this by yourself at home, this is how you would do it. And if you have somebody else at home that's holding, use your body um, as a guide for the dog and so that you can use your legs to kind of hold the bottom half and then you can hold his head like so while the other person that's going to be cleaning the ears has easy access to both ears to go ahead and clean. So what I'm going to do is I've got Bogey and the position that I want him in and I'm going to hold him to my chest. I'm going to hold back his ear so that I can see his ear canal. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, this is the usually the fun part, is we're going to put that wet cotton in the ear and I'm kind of holding his muzzle and holding his head up into my chest. That makes it so that he can't really go anywhere as that liquid starts to sink down into his ear canal. And what I'm doing is I'm just squeezing the cotton so that it's filling the ear canal with the ear cleaner. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pinch at the base of the ear and we're just going to massage. And we're going to do that for about 30 to 60 seconds. And you can kind of hear that, that sloshing noise. That's telling me that that solution is moving into that horizontal ear canal and it's breaking up all of that debris and wax and dirt that um, is down in that horizontal canal and that's what we want to move towards the outer ear so that we can wipe it away and wipe it clean. I'm just going to give this another good squeeze, make sure we get some nice and deep in there. I'm going to hold the ear pin up. Now one thing I can tell you is that <laughs> be prepared for head shaking. Um, sometimes this can get real um, messy and they shake their head and all kinds of ear cleaner and wax and ear gunk uh, gets flung all over the place. Um, sometimes you might see their back legs start kicking. That's kind of an indicator that their ears itch and it actually feels really good to them. All right, so now that that is done, now I'm going to take some dry cotton and we're going to fold the ear up and I'm just going to take the dry cotton 
and in a twisting motion, I'm going to wipe away. And so you can see I'm getting um, definitely getting some debris out of there. Now in bigger dogs, you can actually stick your finger as far into that ear canal as you can possibly get it. Now pay close attention to, you know, if you're causing any pain or discomfort to your pet. We don't want this to be an unpleasant experience. Um, you know, it's not the most enjoyable thing in the world, but we don't want to be causing any unnecessary pain. Once that piece of cotton starts to um, get a little gross, go ahead and sit down, folks. Good boy, sit down. Then we're going to go ahead and get another dry piece. So we'll go ahead and take another dry piece and we're just wiping that cleaner away. All right, so now that I got the ear canal clean, I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a quick little once over of some of these little, these little folds that Bogey has in his ears. And again, I'm not putting the cotton swab any further into the ear canal than I can see the end of it. And as you can see, I'm getting some some fun stuff out of there. Great. All right, so that looks a lot better. So now you want to make sure that you're only using veterinary approved ear cleaners when you're cleaning ears. Now, if you have been prescribed a prescription ointment or medication to be applied, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to wait about an hour in between cleaning and medicating. Um, the reason for that is um, obviously you would wanna clean the ears first because you don't wanna wash all that medication away. And you wanna give that ear cleaner a little bit of a chance to dry out before you're going in and putting in um, topical medication on top of it for the best results. Now, if we were to be medicating his ears. So the way that the ear is um, positioned is they've got a very, very wide external opening to the ear, but the entrance to the ear canal is actually all the way in the front. And if you look at your dog's ears, you can kind of hold them up and see down in there. So for Bogey, his ear canal is right there. So if I was medicating, I'm going to put the tip of the ointment bottle right into that spot and I'm going to give it a nice good squeeze. We want to make sure that we're getting enough medication in there to do the job. So dogs, their ear canals are shaped kind of like an L, okay? So when we're putting that medication in, we're basically depositing it right here. The goal is to get that medication down into this side. So after we apply that medication, we're going to go ahead, fold the ear, the ear um, pin up closed, and then we're just going to massage again. And we're going to do that for another 30 to 60 seconds. And what that's doing is that's taking that medication from the base of the vertical ear canal and it's moving it into the horizontal ear canal where a lot of the infection resides. You'll go ahead and do that massaging action. And what's going to happen is some of the medication is going to come up and out of the ear canal and it's going to coat all of these structures in here. Now you can take some nice clean cotton and you can wipe away gently um, you know, some of the, the extreme excess of that ear ointment because that ear ointment is pretty greasy and can um, stain clothing and furniture. Um, fortunately, when you're treating ears, um, the ears are going to be pretty oily and gunky for a couple of weeks while you're in the middle of treatment. But it's a short-term um, short issue, for sure. So, you know, over time, you can uh, get your dog to tolerate ear cleanings really, really well. And now you guys know how to clean your pet's ears at home. If you guys have any questions on ear cleaning or have any suggestions on videos that you'd like to see us do for you guys, please feel free to email us at ask underscore us at pearlanimalhospital.com. Thanks a lot. We'll see you guys soon. Good job.